When you think of the best open field player, you think of me, a low spending T4 guy that refuses to unlock T5. It's like trying to think of Christmas without thinking of Santa Claus. It's impossible. I am the open field. So today, as promised, I decided to show you the top 5 marches I use that helped me get almost a billion kill points last KBK, which was about 52 million kills, and hopefully double that amount this time in the 4 Imperium Heroic Anthem plus the 2 High A Seed Kingdoms that we have in our current KVK. So once again 1365, 2489, 1846 and the Water Camp which is consisted of 3 Kingdoms being 1188, 1079 and my personal favorite which happens to be Mimi's Kingdom 1175. Ooh Mimi, I am coming to clap them cheeks. In reality it's gonna be the other way around and it is in fact Mimi who is clapping my cheeks. <coughs> oh, sorry. Now that the one minute intro is officially done, let's get to business. March number one, it is in fact Nevsky with Juan Prime, and they also happen to be my best pairing inside the game as of now. I mean, nothing else can top them, they are the best of the best. So, as you can see, I got Nevsky last year around August, mid August, and 2 am happens to be my reset time, so he was expertised right after reset in just 3 minutes. So that should just give you an idea of how much I love this guy simply because of how strong he is even to this day and I still believe he should be the first investment for free to play and low spenders when they come to their first season of conquest or <laughs> KVK3 as of now. Anyways this is his current equipment as you can see 4 pieces of hellish wasteland set then we have ash of the down pants and then Navas control gloves. These two pieces alone give you high amount of health stat which is very necessary for every player, doesn't matter the troop top that you use, you should always prioritize going for health, then defense, and then attack. And that is the correct order. So I believe this is the ideal equipment for every calf player, but at least for free to plays and low spenders, you can always go for the KVK helmet and weapon, but that's just too expensive to craft, am I right? And of course you can also have the Heart of the Saint weapon, it's the purple one, and it gives you defense which is also nice and in alternative you can also have the green stick which gives you health and defense as for accessories of course i have the ring which the real subscribers know that this is my first legendary accessory in my whole playtime and i crafted this last kvk so hoping we can craft the second one this time before zone 5 opens to put it on my uq being by the way are you suffering from virginity well that's because you're not subscribed to daddy furious hey do it now and then go up to any girl and say I'm sub to daddy and then boom it's like a cheat code they will beg to be with you but also then it's gonna be suffering from success so what's that saying once you go back you will never go black oh, once you go black you will never go back Fuck. can I do this line again no okay just a bit of shameless plug right there, but <laughs> anyways, moving forward to my Nevsky armaments, right off the bat we noticed the Hunter inscription, and I was saving that for like 4 or 5 months, it was so annoying because I didn't have a good roll, but finally I got one just about like a few days ago, so now here we are, what a good timing with this KVK especially, and by the way, a common mistake I see many players make is that they don't read the description of this inscription. <laughs> Fucking, I gotta be uh, some sort of tongue twister right there. But anyway, some players make a mistake and they put Hunter on commanders who have AoE damage, like Guan Yu and CP Prime. So remember, the only true way to use Hunter is to have it on single target damaging commanders, like Nevsky, Hiu Kubing, and Sargon, for example. Otherwise, you lose the whole point of Hunter because the damage is gonna be less. Moving on, we have the Strategist, which is just mm, perfect for Murderbolts and 2% extra damage is amazing to have and the last but not least we got the artisan which is 3% extra skill damage and that's just the cup of tea for new king commanders like Nevsky, Yu Bing, Budica Prime etc etc and like I said he is paired with Juan Prime believe it or not she's enough and good to use at 5115 or if you like 5515 and that my friends is why you need to save your skill resets moving forward March number two it is in fact CP Prime with Alexander the Great all the way back from KVK2 and spoiler alert, he is still good to use in Season of Conquest. <laughs> anyway, moving forward to the equipments, 4 pieces from the Eternal Empire set, Hope Cloak chest piece 
and the Eternal Knight pants. So again, this is what the ideal equipment looks like for an infantry march. You don't go with the full set of Eternal Empire, but you go with the Hope Cloak and the Eternal Knight pants. Of course, if you're a spender, then you can go with the KVK helmet and the hammer, and if you're not, then just stick with this one. Or as an alternative for the legendary shield, you can go with the blue shield, it gives you health stats, and it's really cheap to craft. As for the armaments, we definitely have more inscriptions here, so let's see. We have Robust, which is 3.5% health, then we have the V, the V, the VS, my goodness, I'm really butchering these pronunciations, huh? Uh, the Vs, then we have Metallics, Enduring, and Hardy. So in total I am getting 7% health from the inscriptions alone, plus the 4% health from the stats. So in total, that is about 11% health on my CPO. Love to see that. March number 3, and my personal current favorite, right after Nevsky of course, is here cubing, and he's just a glimpse away from getting expertise. So my best hopes are before zone 5, I can do it. Like when is zone 5, I believe in a week, a week and a half. So yeah, this should be done very soon. And now, let's go check out the equipments. So just like Nevsky, almost the same, with of course the exception of the weapon and the ring. I don't plan to craft the Hellish Westland weapon on this guy, because I feel like there is no need. The defense is just fine with me. And uh, I'm just gonna wait for the new equipment update to hit the game, and then I'll see if I need to craft one. Going to the armaments, now this is just much cleaner than Nevsky, although, although, we have less inscriptions. However, we have the combo, and combo gives you 8% extra skill damage for 3 seconds every 5 seconds. So I would put this up there right after Hunter as one of the best inscriptions to have, and before I had Hunter, I used to have this one on my Nevsky, and now it's on my Hyuko being doing the God's work. And then it's just Feet, which is basically 2.5% health. Oi, nice to have it. And I am using Hyu with William the First. So basically, before Hugh, we used to do XY with William. But ever since Hugh came to the game, it's just like, hey, I am here and I'm here to steal your girl. So he did that and now I'm using Hugh with, <laughs> with William the First and XY with Mehmet, which is my next march. I'm gonna get to it in a minute. So William is enough to use as 5551. Five, five, I repeat that, William is enough to use as 5551. Five, five, Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. March number 4. I am using recently expertised XY with Mehmet. And if you're not using Mehmet with his museum buffs, then you must be using drugs. So first things first, let's get to equipments. It's not all that great, not all that shiny like Nevsky, but it is a work in progress. So if you give me like 6 months, I'm gonna make him great again. Make America great again! <laughs> The noob that I was at the beginning of my playtime, I went ahead and crafted the <laughs> pants and the gloves of Hellish Wasteland. So they are still hunting me in my dreams, but I'm just waiting to see the new equipment system and of course waiting to finish my uh, equipment set on all of my commanders. Once they're all done, then I can think about dismantling these two and eventually turning them to Navar's Control gloves and Ash of Down pants. But until then, this is what I got, nothing too crazy, but they still get the job done, so, yeah. Is it time for armaments? I think it is. So, just like the equipments, nothing too crazy here, um, just two inscriptions and bunch of random stats, mostly being Cav March Speed. <laughs> just can't get any better, but yeah, I mean, uh, Bellicose is nice, and Embattled is also nice, so at least I got two inscriptions on my XY which makes him somewhat usable, you know? In other words, how do Americans say this? I can sleep at night with my clear conscience. So like I said, I'm using XY with Mehmet, and trust me, this guy is just made to be used with XY. Not only because of his skills, but mainly because of his museum buffs. So let's go and check out uh, the ancient history. Where is it? There we go. Uh, you're gonna be fucking kidding me. Two times I'm sweep swiping my mistakes. Anyway. Where are you, Kardashian? There you are. So, 30% troop health. Do you know how massive that is? Do you know how game-changing that is? Do you know how insane that is? 30% is like a... It's like a cherry on top of my ice cream for XY. Because XY is like a glass cannon. He is easily breakable 
and he has no defense, no health whatsoever, so Mehmet makes him somewhat tankier, basically injecting life into his soul, plus he has the leadership skill, so XY can bring more troops, meaning he can deal more damage, and also stay alive longer on the field, he has AoE damage, he has attack bonus, and a skill damage bonus, not only from the skill, and also from the museum buff. Hey, I mean... Come on, come on now, come on now, you gotta give it to Mehmet. XY Mehmet is a beast march. And at last but not least, we got the Boutica Prime. My girl, she's amazing, she's been very good to me as 5551 with first YS3 and now, rest in peace, he has been benched. Now with Zhuge Liang, which is basically an expertised version, a prime version of YSG, if you will. So, yeah, that is my March number 5, and um, right now, I am still working on her equipments, along with my XY equipment, so I have two open projects to work on. So anyway, I got the Milky Way. This was one of my first investments back in KVK1, when I used to have this on my YSG. <laughs> but, I mean, it's it gives health, right? So no complaining there. Maybe later I'm gonna replace it with the Dragon Burst chest piece, but for now, it's good. And for the OG subscribers, the true subscribers, they know that I got the Archer weapon in Sanskrit on the first craft. So subscribe now, and in my defense of doing shameless plug for the second time, I want to remind you of getting laid and losing your virginity only by being subscribed to Daddy Furious. Do it today, or you are gay. The armaments, just like CP Prime, we have 5 inscriptions, uh, so Pulverize is not that great. I think I can see this being good in the arch formation, but here it's like meh, it's alright. Next we have Valiance, Valiance, uh, Guarded. Now this is, this I like, okay, because 10% chance to reduce the skill damage by 20%. I like this one. It's nice. Then we got Evasive and Rebuff. Overall, I give this an 8 out of 10, simply because of the stats, Archer Health being the highest at 8.8%, and we also got some March Speed. Alright, so, Boutica Prime with Zhuge Liang, an absolute beast march. I maxed Zhuge right before XY, so he's relatively new, and I've used him only in one KVK. So hopefully this time, we can make his skills go above 20 million. And in scenarios like Siege of Orleans, where we have auxiliary skills, then it's best to use Zhuge Primary with YHG Secondary, because we have auxiliary skills, and you can put skills from commanders like Edward, Tomiris, or Ramses uh, into Zhuge, and he'll be as fast as cavalry. So in those types of KVKs, then yeah, I can see myself using Zhuge with YSG, but in Heroic Anthem and like Strife of the Eight, then these guys are extremely slow, and it's just, I'm not gonna risk it, and I'm gonna stick to Boudicca Prime with Zhuge as my one and only Archer March. So now that that's done, uh, again, for this KVK, I am aiming, I am reaching to get one minimum 1 billion to 1.5 billion kill points and as of kills uh, 60 million kills minimum so that's my personal goal hopefully i can achieve that uh, i think i can with my current resources i still have some in my farms which i need to transfer and with my current speed ups so we'll see what happens we'll see it would be nice to get 50 million t5 kills and around 10 to 20 million t4 so yeah that would be very nice and as of troops, these, is, <laughs> these are my troops. Again, I have no T5. Even the technology is still locked. So, I mean, I gotta say, smashing veils with my T4, it feels nice. It feels like I am the bully. I know that I am, but it's like a double confirmation. In case, just in case, if I forget. And finally, as of dead troops, I am hoping to reach uh, 19.5 to 20 million. So basically, all of my troops because every KVK, usually I end up killing barbarians with siege at the end of it, and this is just another KVK, am I right? <laughs> As of the city skin, I will be using Twilight Falls, a skill damage, exactly what I need, perfect for murderables, perfect for open field, and perfect for me. I am VIP 16, so it means less resources in healing, <laughs> good for T5 players, but in my opinion, the best VIP level for fighting only on open field, it is in fact VIP level 15, because you have the healing speed, you have the hospital capacity, and of course, the march speed. As for civilization, I am rocking the France, simply because of 3% troop health, which applies to all of your troop types, and the best part, 20% healing speed, 
which is just a massive speed up saver in the long run. So in a KVK, if your speed ups are less than 1000 days, then the best choice would be France. And if the opposite, if your speed ups are more than 1000 days, then the obvious choice is Ottomans for Archer Helms, March Speed and Skill Damage by 5%, which is just mwah, mamma mia. This is my speed ups, it's about 450 days ish, and I believe I can make it up to 500 if I chain, if I'm not lazy enough. But we'll see. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go and do that because it's it's reset time for me right now, and I have to jump inside the game, go to Lost Kingdom, and I start grinding my crystals. So damn, the editing of this video took so much time. I've been working on it so, like five hours, and now it's almost 1 a.m. So guys, I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. Hey, one more time, subscribe, join my Discord for the updates. Link down in the description below, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow uh, in the Lost Kingdom update. So. Yeah, see ya. What is wrong with this? What is wrong with this?